Simple columnar epithelium, H and E staining. Simple columnar epithelium is composed of a single layer of tall cells, the height of which is several times greater than their width. Each cell rests on the basement membrane. Cell nuclei are oval in shape and arranged in a single row located in close proximity to the basal part of the cell. Depending on the location of this epithelium, characteristic structures may be present on the apical surface of its cells, such as cilia in the fallopian tube, microvilli in intestinal epithelium and renal tubules, and stereocilia in the epididymal duct. The specimen shows simple columnar epithelium lining small bowel mucosa. Due to the functions performed in this organ, the cellular composition of the epithelium is quite diverse. The following cell populations are found in this epithelium. Number one, enterocytes, typical columnar cells with microvilli on the apical surface, which form the so-called brush border, visible in the specimen as a darker, thicker line on the epithelial surface. Number two, undifferentiated cells resting low on the basement membrane. And three, goblet cells, cells responsible for the production of mucus, characterized by the presence of a large vacuole, the content of which does not stain with H and E. There are no microvilli on the surface of these cells. The cells of this epithelium are closely adjacent this is possible due to the presence of specific intercellular junctions that connect not only the cell membranes of neighboring cells, but also the elements of the cytoskeleton, intermediate filaments in particular. These structures are tissue-specific and occur in epithelial tissue in the form of cytokeratin filaments. The tissue specificity of intermediate filaments is used in histopathology to identify tissue types and to determine their origin, for example in cancers. Specific antibodies are used to determine the subtypes of cytokeratin proteins and thus find about the exact origin of cells, for example, whether they arise from the intestinal epithelium or the epidermis.